Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Reza Isak Estiko. Uh, in this presentation, I will present my abstract with uh, Nida Zahratun Naziha and Nur Aisha Jamil with the title Knowledge and Practice Towards COVID-19 Among Adults and Elderly in Indonesia. So, uh, in my country, Indonesia had a higher proportion of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in adults with age more than 45. And besides that, the elderly had a higher mortality rates as well as having comorbid like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and many more. Since many asymptomatic cases can spread the disease, it is important to contain the infection by controlling and ensuring the community practice towards COVID-19. And this study aims to understand the knowledge and practice towards COVID-19 among the Indonesian people. And as you can see, uh, this research, the methodology of this research is a cross-sectional online survey of 903 respondents through Indonesia, uh, conducted between 17 and 29th August 2020. And uh, the survey instrument consisted of demographic characteristic, characteristic 14 items on knowledge and 11 items on practice. And we use descriptive statistic, T-square and man whitney to analyzing the data. And as you can see, the results. So uh, an advanced COVID-19 knowledge is scored by 56 of respondents while a good practice is scored by 19 and 6 of respondents. Among the respondents who achieved knowledge, 58 and 4% showed a good practice. And uh, there was a significant association between advanced knowledge and good practice with p-value zero. Uh, we found that young to middle-aged adults had a lack knowledge than the elderly with p-value zero. Also, there was a significant difference in knowledge and practice between those groups. So the conclusion of this study is the majority of knowledge people about COVID-19 are dominated by the elderly and also they had a better practice than the ignorant or the younger one. And this result is per the positive cases dominated by the young to middle-aged adults in Indonesia. And the elderly who had a risk for severe disease are more cautious towards COVID-19. I think that's all for me. Thanks for having me.